Okay, well, it's pretty obvious what that is. That's a Dale Earnhardt racing jacket. I mean, the guy was an absolute badass. I know there was an exhibition race in Japan. It wasn't for anything, but his son thought he would be a little cute and give his dad a bump, and his dad spun him out. Absolutely. <laughs> I have a 1993 Dale Earnhardt racing suit from the Coca-Cola 600 that they won. A friend of mine gave it to me. He acquired it in 1993 at an invitational-only event. Everybody loves being a fan of Dale Earnhardt. And when Dale Earnhardt died in 2001, it just kind of took the spirit out of it. And I really haven't watched racing since. It's really cool. You don't get a nickname like the Intimidator for no reason. That's right. You know, um, this guy turned NASCAR into a uh, contact sport. The guy did absolutely crazy things. I mean, I think there's a famous thing he did called the pass in the grass, yep. where he actually <laughs> drove into the grass and passed somebody or something like that. I'm... Yep. So, do you know what race the suit's from, or? That is the 1993 Coca-Cola 600. He won that one, didn't he? Yes, sir. Okay. And when he won a race, he retired the suit. And, you know, there's a bunch of signatures down there. Who's, who's it all signed by? Well, on here we have uh, Delbert McClinton. You have Dale Earnhardt Sr. Neil Bonnet and Teresa Earnhardt. He didn't sign the actual suit or something. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that up here, I don't know if that's his signature or not, but it has Earnhardt in the... Okay. It was, so what are you looking to do with it? I was looking to sell it, to be honest with you. Um, any idea of what you want to get, or...? I'm looking somewhere around $100,000. Okay. To be honest with you, man, I have no idea. I mean, I, I know people go absolutely nuts over this guy. Yeah. But I've never had something like this in here. Do you mind if I have a buddy of mine take a look at it? I would love to. Yeah, absolutely. All right. You want to give uh, Steve a call? Yeah, I'll be right back. This racing suit is really cool, but this guy is asking a lot. I just need Steve to tell me if the combination of the suit and the signatures is worth what this guy's asking for. A guy came in earlier today with a racing suit he claims belonged to Dale Earnhardt Sr. If Steve can assure me that the suit and the signatures that came along with it are legit, I'll be willing to make this guy a really big offer. Hey, Steve. Hey, what's up? Good to see you, Corey. Good, buddy. How are you? Good. Nice hey. to see you. You too. Awesome. You're an Earnhardt fan? Yeah, of course. I love auto racing. And this guy, Dale Earnhardt Sr., I mean, he's really widely known as the greatest race car driver of all time. The great thing about Dale Earnhardt Sr. is his legacy on racing. He had 76 career wins. He won the Daytona 500. He had this run where he was just didn't lose. You know, in auto racing, he was the guy. I mean, you think of the, the Winston Cup titles, he won seven of them. Yeah. So, you know, in terms of significance, if you, you can't have a better racing suit than Dale Earnhardt's. Okay, so what do you think about the signature? So, he had a beautiful autograph. His signature should look literally just like this in this. Very nice and flowing. We see that here and then here. So, there's no doubt about the signature being real, okay? No doubt at all. This is to certify that this Dale Earnhardt GM Goodrich driving suit is authentic. I like the fact that when I look up here, I see his name written right up yeah. here, Earnhardt. Um, obviously, underneath here, you know, it's a jumpsuit, so you have the pants that come in. Um, you know, everything I see here appears absolutely genuine. Okay, so any idea what it's worth? So, you know, based on everything I've seen here, you know, I put the value right at about $20,000. All right, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Good to see you, John. Right, see you later. Yeah, nice right, to see you. Take so. care. Yep. I know you were asking for a hundred grand, man. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, you heard my guy. I could probably get twenty for it. That's if I sold it retail. Uh, can I get you to come off that? Uh, about eighty-five is about the best I could do. So I can't get you anywhere near fifteen. No. Yep. Maybe next time, man. I'm always here if you change your mind. Okay. Brother, thank Take you. Care. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't come to an agreement today and make a deal, and I just couldn't do it. I'll take it back home and hang on the wall, I guess. <laughs>